Hello world. Today we will learn about drawing the drawing the timing diagram for the instruction LXI SKM3000. In our previous video, we learned about the timing diagram of the machine cycle, and by using that concept, we will draw the timing timing diagram of the instruction. So the LXI SKM3000. It consists of the upcode. Suppose the LXI SKM3000 is stored in some memory location. In that, uh, suppose it is stored in 0000. 0, 0, 0. So, first part consists of upcode, and in second, this 0 lower order address will be stored, and 30 will be stored. So, this is the 3 byte instruction. Now, this uh, instruction consists of 3 machine cycle. First, upcode. It is of 40 state. Second, memory read. That is, we have to read this, and it is of 40 state. Sorry, 3D state. And third is memory read. That is, 3D higher order, which is also of 3D state. Now. I have made the now I have made this time diagram and I have already made the clock now first part is upcode phase machine cycle one upcode phase we are already familiar with the drawing timing diagram for upcode phase we have performed that in our previous video this is the timing diagram for Sorry, this is memory read. Memory read. And this is the timing diagram for upward phase. We'll draw the same in this part. For this bus, it will carry higher order memory address. And T1, T2, T3, T4. In this part, it carries on SS wide. Now, ELE will be high for the first state and remains low for the next all and the multiplex boss will carry lower order memory address for the first state and after some propagation delay it will after some propagation delay it will carry upward of the data bus now in this decode process it will do nothing now this is the memory operation so we will perform io slash number this will be low and since this is upcode phase so both s1 and s0 will be low and this is read operation so there is no work of write and we have to make this read bar I for the first and then low for the second end. look this is the same as I tried I taught you in the previous video I've copied the same here now second is memory read this is the time diagram for the memory read if you haven't watched my previous video then please don't forget to watch it uh, it will help you to draw a timing diagram for the instruction because I have taught there how to draw a timing diagram for the machine cycle. Okay, for the memory read, we have this, this it will go to all three states and ALE will be high for first and this all. You can copy the same as it is. Higher order memory address, lower order memory address, and in this part it will read this read zero zero, 
and ELU will buy I here and LU in this and since it is the memory operation so it will be where now this one will be I because this is memory read and yes zero will be low and dog R bar since we are reading so there is no work of right this will be now this will be I for this time period and now since this is also memory read T1, T2, T3. We have to copy the same withdraw in this part to this part. Higher order memory address. lower order memory address now in this part it will act as data bus so it will carry 30 read 30 now ELE should be made I in the first and it will it should make low. now this is the memory operation so this will be continue this will also continue and this will go to here Okay, this is the timing diagram for Yalaxa S, yes, comma three thousand. I have made, I have made the same timing diagram as I taught earlier. For example, you can verify this. This is the timing diagram for upcode page, and the same timing diagram is copied here. And for memory read, this is the timing diagram, and I have copied the same part here. So for any instruction, if you know this. Where, when to fetch, when to read, and when to write, then you can draw a time diagram easily. So that's it for now. In next video, I'll teach about the instruction and their uh, machine cycle. I will not draw a time diagram in next video. So you can draw it by your own after knowing this. So that's, that is for today. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.